Prosperity Built on Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 220. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 220, June 11th, 2017 edition. Today, I've got a great topic for us to talk about. It's prosperity built on sustainability. Let's talk about that. We think One Community's goal and everything that you see happening in the background here is all of our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources that we're designing to support this goal. But our goal is to teach people and to demonstrate a better way to achieve prosperity, a way that should make complete sense because it's built on sustainability, sustainable infrastructure, which means sustainable food, energy, and housing, and it's designed to function and operate best as a collaborative and cooperative environment with people working together to achieve a common goal. And that common goal could just be personal prosperity. It could be just a family working towards prosperity using our open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and open source designs to create their own housing, to build, to grow their own food, to produce their own energy, and to lower the overhead of their expenses. Combining also the emotional foundations of sustainability, because what we're creating is really an evolution of sustainability that takes food, energy, and housing and combines them with high good education models, high good economic models, which is for-profit and non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship and all other components surrounding the complete model that is one community. And our idea is to make that easy enough demonstrate is affordable enough and attractive enough so the idea spreads on, oh, on its own, built on this idea of prosperity through sustainability. The concept is not complex, right? If you could, what are, well, and really it was built on this idea of looking at life, the way that people live right now and saying, what are the primary expenses associated with that? Well, it's definitely food is a, is a common and oh, is a universal expense that is continuous. And energy is a universal expense that is continuous. And housing is a universal expense that is continuous. People go into debt building a home or buying a home, and they can sometimes never get out of it. Education is a universal expense. Well, not universal, but most people. For most people, education is a major expense as well. We have the opportunity to make all of these things sustainable, and in so doing, make them no longer ongoing expenses. To be able to provide in a way where they actually, in some cases, produce money, produce more than they cost to create. This is our idea of prosperity built on sustainability. If we can make this version of prosperity built on sustainability, easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, the idea will spread its own. And if it spreads far and wide enough, if it achieves mainstream adoption, we can create a world for the first time in the history of humanity that truly works for everybody. And we believe that that is global prosperity. And this is what we're all about. This is what we're doing. So everything that you see, the food, the energy, the housing, it can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration, community, village, or city designed to teach others how to create this same level of prosperity built on sustainability. As people come together as communities, working together, and those could be communities just running a home education program, a privately run education program, or they could be communities that come together to build just housing infrastructure or just energy infrastructure or just food infrastructure. Or they could be groups of people that come together to build the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed to be open source and free shared as it's constructed, open source and free shared after it's constructed, and to operate as an ecotourism destination that builds prosperity by sharing itself. The more people that come and visit and experience one community, the more one community prospers and thrives. The more people, well, the more people are having fun, living, and enjoying the experience of one community and sharing that experience, the more one community prospers and thrives. The more sustainable one community is, the more one community prospers and thrives because it further lowers our overhead. So the model is simple. 
build sustainable infrastructure so that you don't have energy bills, food bills, housing bills, education bills. Create a fulfilled living model and operate that fulfilled living model and an ecotourism destination that generates revenue by sharing everything that we do, markets everything that we do because it's all open source and free shared, and teach every single person that comes and visits what it is that we're doing so that anybody that enjoys what they experience, that thinks the idea of vacationing in a place like one community is a, would be a pretty amazing way to live. Therefore, the more we demonstrate the fulfilled living model and the earth stewardship, the true earth stewardship, taking care of our environment, giving back to our environment, surrounding community, and making a difference in the world, the more people want to visit, the more people want to experience it, and the happier people are living that way, the more the idea will spread on itself. And through this path and through this process, our goal is to create a world that truly works for everyone to take the resources where they're needed most, not as a humanitarian effort, but as a collaborative and cooperative effort, uh, as a collaborative and cooperative model that provides a better way of living for everybody that's living that way and integrates seamlessly for those that are interested in doing that with their surrounding community, inviting people to participate and expanding the cooperative and collaborative experience to include anybody who wants to be included. Creating a society of sustainability based on sustainability, cooperation, collaboration, and a new way of living that demonstrates this, that anybody can participate in, that anybody can replicate as either the individual component or as a complete model. This is how one community is creating world change. So with that said, let's jump into our updates. Here is one week of our all-volunteer team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued creating the open source Murphy Bed Furniture step-by-step -step instructions. As shown here, we revised the layouts, added new pages, new icons, and new photos. Also, our core team continued building the SketchUp 3D version of the Net Zero bathroom for the Earthbag Village. This last week, we added barrels, the central platform, roof hatch entrance, and the ladder. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 17th week helping with the Net Zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was working on the final plans and various renders needed for the tutorial. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 72 of Dean's work. This week's focus was finishing all four of these final render views of the northwest living wing of the village. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 44th week helping with the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was new textures for the north landscaping area and beginning final render perspective testing. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed Earthblock Village external elements. What you see here is her 26th week of work focusing on Zone 7 designs and visualizations as shown here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the updates to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 furniture and building textures. What you see here are a combination of the art structure renders and a few screenshots of the weekly collaborative call. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created the styles option image for the pipe furniture page and several single image renders. We also added all current images to the web page with text and descriptions, hover text, click to enlarge options, and center formatting. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued with her 38th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continued modeling and initial lighting testing within the social dome. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the city center electrical design and tutorials with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant. 
What you see here are pictures of this week's updated electrical overview and Ramian Shubham's PV solar microgrid and wind power tutorials developing behind the scenes. Aravin Vasudevan, BA in Mechanical Engineering, also continued his work on the city center basement heating and cooling details. This week's focus was researching how a climate battery works and can be included in our designs. You can see version 1.0 of Aravin's report here. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her 16th week working on the City Center Footers Foundation and Flooring tutorial. This week's focus was writing more content for the moisture control and center block wall sections, as shown here. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, helped with her second round of website content for the Eco Laundry page, updating the text formatting, replacing all the images with higher quality ones, and adding click to enlarge options whenever needed. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created another three additional new header images for the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan page for the bulk goods sections, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Creativity Lesson Plan and the Emotional States Lesson Plan. This brings us to 26 of 52 finished, which is 50% completion. We also continued working on the renders for the Ultimate Classroom Projection Dome feature. This included using a different viewpoint for rendering and applying several different projected images, as seen here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completed 50% of the final edits to the open source Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page. Working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, we also continued developing the new search engines that will make our site easier to navigate. This week, we finished the City Center search engine and another round of edits and revisions for the Earthbag Village search engine. Additionally, Saumya Manohar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Jono Lewis, software developer, completed their collective sixth week of work on the Highest Good Network. This week's focus was continued implementation and coding for the simple authentication model and adding the ability to log time entries. There you have it. That's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments and how we're creating prosperity built on sustainability, how we're open sourcing prosperity built on sustainability. And the goal is to build one community and demonstrate all this so people have, so tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people can come and visit, experience what it is that we're doing and take it and replicate it on their own if that's something that they'd like to do. If all this stuff is interesting to you, like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog, visit our website. If you'd like to help out in the easiest way possible, share our information on social media. If you'd like to follow our progress on social media, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to do that. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, all of them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list and you can receive an email that way or subscribe to any one of our social media networks and follow our progress that way. And of course, thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. All that stuff makes a big difference. Thank you for the donations, the little donations, $5, $10, $15. Those things really add up. We are 100% unpaid staff. So every little bit makes a difference in what it is that we're doing because none of that money is going to pay me or anybody else on our team. It all goes to cover our overhead and expenses of running a global organization like One Community. So thanks. And know that until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.